For the section right here that says root ID, this information right here is about the actual root bridge in the topology. Well, that will be this switch, as it says right here, that this bridge is the root. We also see the priority value right here and the MAC address of the root bridge for VLAN 10. And as you can see, it matches what exists for the bridge ID. The priority is the same and even the MAC address itself is the same. So the bridge ID section is information about this local switch, which is again, the root bridge. Now, when we go to DCA1, go to that switch, and if we run the same command, you will see that this information will be different for the root ID and for the bridge ID. At the bottom here, you will see which interfaces belong to VLAN 10, and that will be our layer two port channel, which are enabled as trunking ports. Now, since DCC1 is our root bridge, all ports will be designated forwarding ports, which you see right here. Designated is the row and forwarding state. You will also see that the path cost for those interfaces is reflected as 1000. Now let's view the span tree domain for VLAN 11. And we know that DCC2 should be the primary root bridge for all odd numbered VLANs like 11 and 13. So once more under the root ID section right here, you will see that we are not the root bridge this time. Instead, we see information on who is the root bridge for VLAN 11. We see the priority value, which is reflected right here, and the MAC address of the root bridge, and this belongs to DCC2. For the bridge ID section, this pertains to this switch, DC1. And there, you will see our priority isn't lower, this is our priority right here, that it is not lower compared to what is set up on DCC2. And the priority is based on the value that we set plus the VLAN tag ID, which is 11. So you add those up and that will give you the number that you see here and even for this as well. Now, since we are not the root bridge, one of the interfaces that exists in VLAN 11 will be the root port. And that will be reflected as right here, port channel 12, which is directly connected over to DCC2 and that makes sense because that is the shortest path. And the other ports are in the designated forwarding state. So once again, our root port is port channel 12, which is of course in the forwarding state. And the other interfaces based on the span tree process is in a designated, they're designated ports, which means that they are also in a forwarding state.